Hey YouTube, I wanted to show you a bit of a little project I've been working on. This is a, a fully reusable shuttle uh, with a reusable main stage as well. So I based it somewhat on uh, on the plans by Werner von Braun. If anyone's ever seen that famous video produced by Disney where he uh, shows off the rocket with the, the jet on top, and I always thought that was a really cool, uh, cool little concept. So right now you're watching me launch this thing into space. Uh, this is actually the second time I launched it. I had to relaunch it because I lost the uh, the video file. Um, it's all kind of sped up pretty quickly, so I'll try to talk quickly anyway. Uh, so basically what I was trying to do was uh, I wanted to make a shuttle and I wanted to make a main stage that could both land independently to recover 100% of your resources. So this is the main stage actually landing and we're basically going to come in over the KSC. Uh, I used a mod called Trajectories to get the uh, accuracy. It's not perfect because, I mean, there's a lot of variables that the mod doesn't consider, and I mean, things like uh, like the rocket spazzing back and forth due to aerodynamic stress is uh, a thing that can happen. So I, I fell a bit short, but um, yeah, the landing is a bit hairy. This is actually about the fourth time I tried landing this thing. It's a little top-heavy, so it's really tricky to land. Especially with these vector engines, they tend to uh, really overcorrect. But I do manage to actually get a landing. And, yep, there it goes. Yeah! So, uh, yeah, that's the first part of it. And uh, for the for the second part here, I basically wanted to um, to show you guys what this little uh, shuttle is capable of. So it has about 3200 delta V, which means it's able to actually fly to the moon uh, and back. And pretty well with that much delta V, and it gets into orbit 100% with the main with the main booster, so uh, it has all of that as available delta V in space, which is really nice in a 100 kilometer orbit. So just showing you, it's this, this thing is very capable. I mean, you could take it to Duna, you could take it to Jewel. There's pretty much no limit on where you could take it. Maybe some of the other planets you couldn't do. But 3000 Delta V will really get you get you places. And uh, here you'll see I'm just kind of establishing a nice low orbit with the moon just to show that it really can uh, get pretty much anywhere. Uh, now, when I did this uh, originally, I actually filmed several uh, attempts at landing, so I'm gonna th I'll throw those at the end of the video, but uh, they didn't go well. I, I never managed to actually land it. I was trying to land it, like, uh, horizontally, sort of. I've seen some videos of people doing it where they land horizontally and then uh, use the brakes to actually decelerate, so they'll sort of bring their, uh, their lander down to, like, I don't know, 150 meters a second or something like that, and they can kill that last little bit of delta V just with the brakes, but uh, I couldn't do it. I, I tried desperately, and the results were pretty funny. So I'll, I'll throw those at the end for you. So we're just going to head back to Kerbin now. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I could have aero braked to get it back, just brought the periaps below, you know, maybe... 60 kilometers or something down and just basically turned her 45 degrees straight into the atmosphere or 90 degrees but uh i figured i'd show that it can actually do a powered re-entry so a nice controlled re-entry i had lots of delta v to play with at this point by the time i actually got the orbit nice and circular uh i still had about 400 left i think but um I was coming at kind of a weird angle, so it, it did actually take some doing to get a nice uh, straight shot at the KSC, so you can see I sped up time there. And... But I do manage to actually uh, get a nice landing location right by the KSC. It works pretty well. It was all just about starting from the right point and making sure uh, making sure that the it was the right time of day, basically. And see, I just fold up the antenna there, and we're going to come in at a 45 degree angle. So I do actually miss... I know, I've seen some videos where people land shuttles, and I've, I've managed to do it too, but where you land a shuttle just straight on, right into the KSC without missing, without having to do any steering or anything. But uh nice thing about this jet is it's, uh, it's pretty agile, so it has no problem landing. And has no problem steering as you come in. And so, see, it's, uh, the problem is, uh, the real shuttles, they steer side to side, but I found 
it actually is pretty easy just to steer straight down because you're not worried about g-forces like you would be in real life so I mean I don't know what G's I hit on this but I imagine they were off the charts and I actually do a bit of a flip here the nose cone turning bright red and you see I actually I overshot it and uh, came in too high so I'm actually going to uh, overshoot it again but this time I should be able to easily just turn around and, and come in for a nice uh, nice smooth landing. Nice thing is this thing is uh, pretty light and agile and it steers really well. And you know getting it to steer that well is just a matter of uh, matter of adjusting your center of mass versus center of lift. And that's why I've got these two little sort of shrake wings at the front just to um, just to move that center of lift forward because the center of mass uh, was surprisingly far forward. And the uh, nice thing here is uh, the only thing that this mission actually cost was the price of those uh, those four solid fuel boosters, which are 2,700 each. So that would be about 10,000 uh, 10,000 spacos for this mission. And you know we have a little little bit of a rough landing, but we come in fine. And so that's uh, that's the whole video. I mean, that's how you get three people. Uh, into space in a nice shuttle they can dock with things and so now I'm just gonna show you some of the uh, failed moon landings here moon landings this one was kind of cool it actually uh, bent the <laughs> I've never seen this before it actually like twisted the ship and it just sort of stayed in this weird position it looks I've never seen this kind of crash usually they just break apart anyway thanks for watching the video and uh, have a good one